dropped Alex at the airport yesterday. He's, he's in Sweden at the moment, off to a theme park, Fleeseberg, with Mia, having a ball, hopefully. That will make sense once this wall goes up. Basically, that wall disappearing underneath all the hard work. And then this is going to be built up into a planter. Right, Monday the 1st of August. August already. Well, it'll probably be about October by the time you watch this. <coughs> right, Saturday. You notice this, I'm just me here. <coughs> Dropped Alex at the airport yesterday. He's, he's in Sweden at the moment, off to a theme park, Fleeseberg, with Mia having a ball, hopefully. Of course he will. So I'm solo for two weeks now, so this is day one on my own. Not an ideal job to be left on my own, but it's the way it is. So, Saturday, we got the echoes in. That was a bit of a challenge. Not so much the echoes, but the, the drains. They were tough. We cut into this gully, put a tee on, and went to that end, because it drops away to that end, you see. So that was all done. And we started on the edgings. Used up what concrete we had left. So we got three in. Just need the two to go in there. Obviously ones are cut. Steve's coming with the crab today. Get rid of all this. So I've got a bit of room to move. We've got um, probably 150 bricks down there. Right down there beyond that shed. The little green shed on the left. Find the right place. There. So they're coming up. Once they've got some room for them. Because they're going here. Where these bricks are roughly. Maybe a bit further out. We're going to come along with the dwarf wall. Just about here. And then it's going to turn. And let's go back to here, or back there. I'm going to make the, the drive 19 foot wide, so there's plenty of room to get on the, with the two cars and get out of them. And then from here, it's going to stop there, return 90 degrees and go back to that pillar. So what I've got to do today is dig that little strip out there where the gate was, so we can build across there with the wall. Set out this radius here. Once that's set out, I can dig this end out to about here. Then we can step it up and then I can just shutter it across there because obviously drive slopes up, garden's coming up, drive's coming up. So all this is going to be buried. We're not going to see any of this. So we don't have to dig down for the strip there. We can just put a few bricks down and shutter it. So to do this today, move shite, dig, set out, dig, concrete. Um, finish haunching off the tacos, put the other two edgings in, and hopefully I've got time, or the energy left, we'll get those bricks up from around the back, because we've got to buy some more, but we're not going to buy them until we know how many we've got left already. So, custom does need to buy it all then, we can use what we've got. <laughs> so yeah, beautiful day. It's going to pour down later, but hopefully after I've long gone. <coughs> so yeah, we're going to start get set out first and see where this wall's gonna work. So catch you in a bit.
just gone nine o'clock. As you will have seen on the time lapse, I've just been getting all this set up. It's a bit difficult because the plants are in the way. So I put a, put a three B two in to come over the top of the plants. Just found this bit of, bit of fern that was left over around the corner. Typical brick layer, make do and which is broke, so I fixed that. Put a screw in, shored that up. Don't forget, this is only for setting out. Once it's set out, I'll be doing it with my level. I've um, a couple of screws in the T-clamp, clamped my level to it. So I've got a plumb line down. And then just put, um, just sprayed. That is the radius of the wall, those little dots. The reason I've not, I've not um, joined them up yet is because we need 150 spread that for the wall. So I'm going to measure out 150 and sweep that line round with the um, with the spray. And like I said before, that's just going to be concrete straight down there to about here, and then we'll dig down and drop the bit, drop the wall into a trench. Then uh, the other little thing, the little hiccup, and there's always a hiccup in our job, is this pallet is now in the way because that's the face of our brick. Just there. Yes, that's, that's where the wall's going. And the way I've done it is, there's no straight bits. It's all one big radius. So there's no, it'll come straight off there and scoot round to the, but it'll, it'll be square at each end. There won't be any straight bits of brick work. The reason I've done that is, the bigger the, the, bigger the radius, the nicer the joints, because this is going to have brick and edge on the top. So I want the brick and edge to work nice and have massive, massive big V joints in them. And I think that, that radius that size is big enough to, to do without having to cut all the bricks, which you don't really want. So that's a lot of cuts. So that's what we're up to now. And we move all that. You don't need to watch that, so I'll switch the camera off for a bit and get back to you when all this is moved and we're ready for digging. Right, 10 o'clock now, another update, <coughs> here we go, I've dug this part out, yeah, I'm getting quite deep now so we're going to step it here, uh, I've got the uh, laser level out which is still spinning, <coughs> now, took a level off that edging, about halfway up, Transfer it across onto this sleeper. That's our mark. <coughs> so that's roughly top of driveway. So we'll level across, we're well under there with the concrete, so we can step up now. Step up probably under them. And then I've got the uh, got that long piece of wood. I took a level off the, the clay there and transferred a level up onto the wall. That's our date in that wall. 
that's the high spot of the wall so we can work off that obviously pick up along there to level it and it's only four courses in the brick and edge on top of that so um yep yeah, um yeah transferred that got that level got that level and then mark my gauge down so this is the wall this is the clay so I've marked my gauge from there to there which is 585 because it's uh, imperial size bricks and that gives me about 135 so that there that point to that point is my concrete so when I put this level on here I'm going to get a mark on there to work off and then I'll put a couple of pegs or nails in across there while I concrete it so I'll get this section nice and level that way this is going to be it's going to course in with the wall at the top I hope but um, <clears throat> we will be walking, working from the wall back to make sure we do gauging with the wall I don't want to start here and miss it by 20 mil so we'll, we'll work that way back and then we'll see how we get on and then we're going to put a step in about here and then it's going to come right up then up onto the up onto the tree like I say there's no need to dig down here it's good ground it's all buried so that's it I'm going to transfer this level now and get our concrete level
it is. Half one. And this is where that. This section's in, next little step, next section's in, that's where our next step starts. And then we're gonna level through. Depends the concrete in where the step is. That's gonna level through to there. And then edge edging in a bit to go in there. And that bit of concrete into there. And then, so it's half one, so I'm pushing it. I've actually run out of stone, so I need to go and pick some up. What Steve's due any minute, so I'm going to, it's not far to get the stone, so I'm going to go and get the stone first. So I want to get all the concrete done today and leave them in the position for bricklaying it after that. So there you go, that's what we're up to. So I'm going to get my shit together and go and get to the um, fields and get, get a ton of ballast. So I'll catch you in a bit. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you this news. Steve's arrived with a grab. Just news is moving the car up a little bit so we can get in here. And then this stuff's going. So um, I'll carry on filming me doing my concrete for now. As soon as Steve's set up and ready, I'll, uh, I'll get that thing.
go stay top of the road there can't zoom in and there you go oh, we should i always forget to do the clicky fingers that would be great then. so there you go that's all in the wrong place that all needs to be here but obviously all the shape was in the way there because we've got a big void in it here it will make sense once this wall goes up basically that wall disappearing underneath all the hard work. and then this is going to be built up into a planter with a semicircular wall so it's probably getting on for three o'clock now good of them to fit us in today yeah quarter past three i've just had some good news while well, i see it unloading loading there's a wall underneath there so we don't need to put a footing in there we can carry on right through that's excellent so that's save you digging and concrete in there so all i've got left to do today is tidy up a bit finish that bit of concrete get those two edges in so i've got an hour and a quarter to get that done so we'll film this bit for now and then we'll film the edgings and then I'm away. I think I'm going to another job tomorrow. Give this all a chance to go off before I start the brickwork. And then before I start back and everything. And then I'll keep you posted. That's the filming. Ah, it's about 20 to 4 now, so there you have it. One radius step for two. Hmm. Another one that's a lot harder than it looks. <laughs> but it's done. That's going to get this nice curve in now. There's our channel, whatever you call it. That's just a rough guide. You're going to mark it once and then follow it from there. I won't be using it to actually build the way like Justin's just bit right there. He had a proper setup for this. So this is like a six foot high road. I just need to get this set out and I'm away then. Um, yeah, it's not going to be very high. I'm just going to step up. So it's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven from the pavement to the concrete. So it's going to come up four. So that's three down. So it's probably, have a, a, probably two. Two or three steps of two courses. Outro time. There's our three ton. It's a good three ton off. Always a good three ton off. Eight napiers. Edging finished. Launched up. Aco finishing hooked up. Leveled that out so they've got nice flat walking now. Nailed a few pallets up. Stop anyone falling down that drop. Put that tub there. This is a barricade. Sand's covered up. Concrete's all done. That's it. It's about ten past five, five, quarter past five. It's time to go home. 
So I'm off to another job tomorrow. So when you see me next, I'll be back here. So I'll catch you later. <laughs>